shut off now. Wonderful save. Had to really reach out for that. Well, here we'll see what they can manage from the corner. Defensive block there. No cross coming in. And shoots! Comes in strongly. Deportivo La Coruña have possession. They've got the ball in the middle of the pitch here. How about Deportivo La Coruña's next game, Alan? Well, they're playing Real Betis in their next match in La Liga. I think it'll be a tough one for them. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. That attack was looking good. Now the opposition have a chance. And it's been an hour of very good football here. We've still got 30 more minutes to go. Free kick given. Llorente. And here come Real Madrid. The shot's on! What a fine save! And now it's an advantage decision. Deportivo are going to benefit from it from the referee. It's Isco. He's having a ball with the ball, Alan. Yeah, he's doing all sorts of things with it for his team. He's, uh, he's really an important member of the heart of that side down there. Comes in with a tackle. They've coped with it well defensively. Real Madrid will make the substitution now. It's with Danilo. And here's the shot. That's a good block. Tony Kroos. Shots on here. Great save by a diving goalkeeper. The team is lining up for the corner. I know, Alan, this is one of your favourite referees, and he's done well here, hasn't he? He's come back and done the booking having let the play go on earlier yeah exactly you've got to give the advantage to the team in possession he did that but he also punished the offender Cavani pressure on another corner and that's good support as they build this attack and now the shot Oh, well done, the goalkeeper, and he's hung on to the ball. Mosquera. Good challenge. Well, they're in a good position here. It should be. Credit for taking on the shot. Well, what a good chance that was for him. By his standards, that's the glaring miss. Supported there as he can head it on to someone who's waiting to receive it. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. He's got his shot off now. I don't think he was quite sure where the goal was as he took the shot on. Shot on! Well, sometimes you say aim at the goalkeeper, it will veer in one side or another. This went straight at the goalkeeper. Well, I don't know who the lad saw there passing. Referee is pointed straight to the spot. Penalty given. Well, they've got the penalty 
Actually, they probably want the player sent off the offender, but he's only got a yellow card. I think he was a little bit relieved there, you know, looking at his face, but uh, he'll take that yellow. And he scores from the spot. Well, they were going to take him off penalties, but he's taken this one and scored. Yeah, he's a man you can depend on in these situations because he does keep a clear and cool head. Four one is the scoreline. Most defenders will be furious with that because they were seeing the game out quite comfortably, it seemed. But a little bit of loss of concentration. They lost a goal. Yeah, maybe you can understand it. It's been so. Uh easy for them out there that they've taken the foot off the gas and shoots here's a chance goalkeeper exposed tries the through pass the shot's on great stop the throw in for real madrid garente and here's the shot Rashford showing here, he's not just a flash in the pan, he's a crash in the box. Touch of a maestro, just let that ball trumble on into the net. Yeah, he's had a little chuckle to himself and talking about that, I'm sure to his teammates, he'll be proud of that one. Five one, the score, Here we go. Sometimes being a favourite in a match can weigh heavily, expectation and all that. It's not a problem for this team, is it? No, I think their manager will be delighted because they've not uh, taken it easily at all. They've given respect to their opponents, but they've shown their class too. Through pass. They've coped with it well defensively. Well, we're down to the last minute here. And that is the final whistle here. Real Madrid have victory today. Well, look at that scoreline. And it emphasises what we've seen in the shape of the game as well. Very one-sided. Well, from the first whistle, they were on top and it never altered for the entire 90 minutes. What? He's in the... La Liga, Deportivo Alaves nil, Real Sociedad two, Barcelona three, Girona nil, Sporting Gijón one, Celta de Vigo two, Real Madrid five, Deportivo La Coruña one, Villa Real two, Levante nil. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Real Madrid with 75 points. In second, Valencia with 44 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In third, rising up the table are Barcelona with 43 points. In fourth, moving down are Real Betis with 42 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In fifth and falling are Espanyol with 41 points. In sixth, Sevilla with 37 points. In seventh, climbing the table are Villarreal with 35 points. In eighth, moving down are Atletico Madrid with 34 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Bottom of the table and falling are Girona with 21 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom moving down are Real Zaragoza with 23 points, but only behind on goal difference. Third bottom, rising up the table, are Real Sociedad with 23 points. Fourth bottom and falling are Las Palmas with 26 points, but only behind on goal difference. Fifth bottom, moving down, are Levante with 26 points, but only behind on goal difference.
What a great chance for the side that is at home today because they've already won the away leg. Mm, they were impressive away from home, weren't they? If they're equally as impressive here, they'll be, they'll be fine, won't they? And today it's Real Madrid and they are up against Borussia Dortmund. Well, whenever transfer rumours come up, it always seems to be takers for Edinson Cavani. Sometimes he moves, sometimes he doesn't. Three in his last three. Really been his team's man of the moment. Quite a few changes for Real Madrid. Keylor Navas in goal. Rafael Varane starts with Sergio Ramos as the centre-backs. Luka Modric starts with Juan Mata in central midfield. In attack, Edinson Cavani starts. He's been in tremendous form recently. This is the Borussia Dortmund lineup. Mark Bartra starts. He's back from suspension. Marco Royce plays alongside Usman Dembele in midfield. We'll see how the striking option works with just one up front. Mikel Marino. Now Marino. The referee giving the player the benefit of the doubt about that, but he's given the free kick. Mark Bartra. Julian Weigel. Weigel. And in he goes with the tackle. Getting into an advanced position. This could be a chance. Cavani! At full extension, the goalkeeper makes the save. Corner for Real Madrid. will clear the danger. Mark Batra. Jimenez. The break is definitely on. Well, it's easy here for the keeper. First touch was poor. Really strong tackle, and the ball's gone out for a throw. Dembele. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. Looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. It's a quick break. Cavani! Well, he works for the team, but he needs to have that selfish streak in front of goal. Single-mindedness, you might call it. Edinson Cavani gets 